Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create four tables on one page in Word. So let's open a new document and the first thing we need to do is to insert a text box. So go to insert text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box, click and draw out a text box. Then once it's selected, make sure you're on shape format, go over to height and I'm going to select 13 centimeters by nine centimeters and press enter. If you deselect, you can see you've got this little border line around the outside. We're gonna leave that for now, but we will come back and remove it. So make sure your cursor's inside your text box just by double clicking. Go to insert, table, click on the drop down, and I'm going to select four columns and three rows. As you can see, they've now been inserted into my text box, and now I'm just going to customize these three rows by selecting the table, this top left square, go to table layout, and then in height, I'm going to select one centimeter and press enter. And then I'm going to make sure all my text is aligned to the center of my cell. And to do that, I go over to the alignment tools and select the center one. Then I'm just going to insert some text. Then I'm just going to merge these two cells here. Just select them both. Make sure you're on table layout and select merge cells. Then again, just enter some text. I'm gonna leave this one blank here so that you can just write or type in a date. And then I'm going to select this box here and I'm going to go up to insert below and I'm going to keep clicking until my cells fill the box. There we go. Then I'm going to select this top row here, go to table design, and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna select a slightly thicker line, which is two and a quarter points. And then I'm going to go to borders and select outside borders. And then I'm going to select the rest of the table and then just click on borders again. I've done my customizations, click on that border again. And you can see that just gives us a nice outline to our table. Now to get rid of the outline around the outside of the table, select the text box, go to shape format, go to outline and select no outline. And then to copy it, command or control C, deselect, command or control V, command or control V again, and one more time. I'm just going to roughly space these out to roughly where I want them. And then I'm gonna come back and customize that alignment. So to make sure they're all aligned, I'm going to select this one, hold down my command or control key, select this one, go to shape format, go to align, align to right. Then select this one and the bottom one, align to left. And then this one and the top one align to top. And then this one and the left hand one and align to bottom. Once I've done that, I'm gonna select them all, keep holding down my command or control key, go up to group, select group. Now they're all one element. And then I can go to align and select align to center of the page and align to the middle of the page. And then we deselect and we can see those are all perfectly lined up. We will need to nudge them down a little bit because the margins were slightly off in the text boxes, but we can just use our arrows to do so. Now you can save this as a Word document, a PDF file or a template. To do so, go to File, Save As, and then name it whatever you like. I'm going to type in Timesheet, and then you can save it as a Word document here, or you can click on the drop down and you can save as a PDF file. I'm just going to click Save. Alternatively, you can go to File, Save as Template, and then once again, name it whatever you like. Go to Templates, make sure it's on the Templates folder, and then down at the bottom here, make sure it's checked on the Microsoft Word Template option, then click Save. And then when you open up your Word software, you can see we've got templates at the top here, select more templates, and then in personal, you can see timesheet. Now you can open that up as a new document, and when you make alterations to it, Word will ask you to save it as a completely different document, so not destroying the original. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe, 
and have a great day.